ho, ho, hold on. That's the advice from the Canadian Anti-Fraud Centre as consumers start gearing up for the season. Take five minutes to stop and think and go with your gut. Here's the lowdown on holiday scams. The agency says when it comes to online shopping, consumers need to be vigilant. We know that the scammers are creating fake ads that will direct people to websites that may offer counterfeit or uh, products that are inferior to uh, real to, to quality products. The Canadian Anti-Fraud Centre has some warning signs. If it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Check for spelling mistakes and bad grammar on the website, and search for warnings or reviews posted online before making a purchase. Thompson says consumers should also be wary when selling items online, especially when a potential buyer offers more than the asking price. They often claim to be uh, located abroad. They'll, they'll offer to buy a site unseen, you know, so they don't even need to see it. Uh, and, uh, and, they'll, and they'll send you a counterfeit check or a, a fraud payment or sending you sort of a spooked email that looks like you're receiving a PayPal or, or some sort of third-party transfer money into your account. The Canadian Anti-Fraud Centre says never send merchandise without confirming that a payment has been received. It's also a busy time of year for charities seeking donations. The agency says fraudsters try to cash in by using legitimate charity names to collect money. Before donating, you can check to see if a charity is registered by visiting the Canada Revenue Agency's website. Ultimately, what we recommend with charities is that you try and donate locally. That way you know where your money's going, uh, you know who you're dealing with. Thompson says if you become a victim of fraud, it's important to report it to police and then alert the Canadian Anti-Fraud Centre with as much detail as possible. Reporting starts by you having a, a chronological statement of events uh, so that you can easily describe what's occurred and provide that information to law enforcement.